go-to makeup look so if you guys care to see keep watching so I'm going to be starting by priming my eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in this shade 47S which is tan deep sand for my eyelids I actually love using concealer for my primer for my eyelids because it just makes my eyeshadows look way better shadow that I'm using is coming from the Morphe 35 Fierce by Nature palette and honestly I just use whatever brown I saw first because that palette has a lot of browns on there and I don't remember the name of the shade because I threw away the paper that it came with but just know you can use any brown shade from that palette to get this same look. putting the really pigmented golden eyeshadow that was in the middle of the palette in my tear duct to make it pop and give it a little splash of color <laughs> and if you guys see me keep looking up that's because I was watching YouTube while I was filming this so yeah I always got to be occupied while I'm doing my makeup <laughs> And a little disclaimer, this lash was so hard to put on. Well, these lashes in general were so hard to put on. I don't know where I got them from. I just found them in my room laying around. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just use these because I don't have nothing else. And they were just giving me such a hard time. Like, I had to put them on off camera. beauty and I also really love this foundation because it's so matte like since now since we're going into the winter time I'm getting really dewy and this just leave my face so seamless and it look like skin and it's still not too drying but it's perfect honestly this formula is chef kiss <laughs> But okay, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit since I never do voiceover videos. Well, I have in the past, but they were so cringy. I didn't really like them. So now I'm actually recording on my laptop and it sounds way better in my opinion. So I just want you guys to like, comment down below and let me know how are you guys feeling about voiceovers or do you like me talking in my videos? Because I will be posting way more videos coming soon <laughs>
moving on to setting my face i am using the fenty beauty pro filter setting powder in the shade honey yes this has been my go-to since i was able to start shopping at sephora i always use the fenty beauty setting powder no matter what i just really like how it gives me like a blurred effect and still like brightens under my eyes i use this powder almost basically for all over but it really helps for brightening as well this it actually looks so satisfying watching my face go from kind of dewy to matte it just does something for me do it do something for y'all too or i'm just tripping <laughs> that's it and I'm using the hula bronzer in the shade toasted and Too Faced is the only bronzer that I actually use on my face I also use the dark chocolate one I would mix it with like the hula bronzer but this time I just use the hula bronzer by itself eyebrow gel well cream eyebrow cream for my eyeliner but as you know makeup is a versatile so you can use whatever technique I'm using to cut my contour I actually went for my bronzer I learned on TikTok actually so TikTok really be having gems on there like you guys need to get on TikTok if you're not on TikTok and if you are on TikTok follow me at Monroe Artistry underscore Walgreens or CVS I believe I got mine from Walmart 
but yeah it's really pretty usually this is like my only highlighter that i use i usually will use like loose pigments like glitter to actually do my highlighter but this one girl is top tier period i'm always making faces what am i doing <laughs> and i'm just going to be setting my face with the nyx setting spray i love this setting spray because it has like sparkles and shimmer in it and you know your girl loves shimmer in the sunlight because I was trying to learn how to focus my camera and zoom in and zoom out to show you the details on the lip products that I was using but I was just using the MAC chestnut lip liner which is a high demand chocolate lip liner basically that goes perfect with any type of lip gloss and the lip gloss I was using was the Sephora collection lip gloss in the shade baby doll or bubblegum but it's so they have two types of lip gloss one is named baby doll and one is named bubblegum but one is more sheer than the other but this one well both of them are the bomb but this one that i was using is nine times out of ten probably baby doll so i do recommend this lip combo this is my go-to no matter what yes i just love this lip combo it's so ombre and perfect like it's so satisfying to watch this <laughs> i hope you guys feel the same way <laughs> So yeah, now I'm just fixing up my hair, combing it out. I actually didn't fix those little dents from the clips because I was kind of running late for work, but I was still cute. I got so many compliments this day, even when wearing a mask, I was still getting so many compliments and I just felt really pretty this day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any products I use, make sure you comment below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.